This week, Kim and Aggie are on a mission like no other. This house is not at all a typical house that we come across. This isn't where the problem is. The problem's no. upstairs. When tragedy struck this family, housework dropped off the radar. And now the children's mess is mounting. Mikey got all my toys out and turned them on the floor. Nigel would say to them, this one's doing and this one's doing now, and it would get done. And I need to get it sorted for him, as well as for us. What's needed now is teamwork and junior lessons in dirt busting to save a home on the slide. Kim Woodburn and Aggie McKenzie are off to Basildon in Essex to answer the plea of desperate mum Ingrid Doggett. She needs help with her four mess-making children. Charlotte, 18. I don't have time to do anything because I've I've got coursework or I just can't be bothered. Eleanor, 11. I need a sign saying, beware falling debris. <laughs> Lara, 4. My bedroom is uh, a bit messy. And Mikey, 2. I got all the toys out. So, a beleaguered Ingrid puts pen to paper. My husband, Nigel and I, were a fantastic team. And between us, we kept the house tidy and the kids happy. Sadly, my Nigel died suddenly four months ago. It was a great loss, and the kids and I were deeply shocked. Needless to say, housework has been low on the list of priorities for a while, but I have tried my best to keep up. The kids, however, have absolutely no notion of what clean or tidy mean. And as fast as I try to keep house, they are behind me creating chaos. Please, please come and help me to stop my home from disappearing under a mountain of mess and muck. Yours, hopefully, Ingrid Doggett. What a story. Sounds like she's absolutely ran ragged. We need to be doing something to get these kids interested in cleaning. You're never too young to learn, you know. No, that's right. We've got to get them working together as a team. Although they might not work as a team, there are some things they're all agreed on. The person who makes the most mess in this house is Michael. I have to agree with that one. Me too. <laughs> Nigel played a key role in keeping the house clean. He, he was the one that used to do the, the yucky jobs, like cleaning out the deep fat fryer and scrubbing the oven. And I feel, I feel a lot like I'm letting him down with the state of the house. And um, I need to get it straight and I need to get it sorted for him as well as for us. While the kids are at school, the cleaning queens arrive. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Hello. you. How do you do? In I'm terribly sorry for your loss. Terribly sorry. Thank you. But I hope us being here will in some way help you, lovey. But Ingrid, you said the place is in a state and it's it not. It looks fine to us. Well, this isn't where the problem is. The problem's upstairs. Oh, yes. It's a mess and it's on its way down. Listen, you put the kettle on. We'll go and have a look around and come and have a chat about it, okay? No children get the better of me, do you? <laughs> no children. Okay. Right. This filth. <laughs> Terrible. Eleanor's room is an eye opener. Like many 11 year olds, she likes clothes, books, and computers, apparently all jumbled together. So, Kim, it looks like maybe there was once a bit of organisation. Well, not for a long time. No, Looking at this long. No, this could you? happen in two days. Well, Let me tell you. Yeah, we want to have you know. There's all sorts of food debris on the floor <laughs> here, Kim. I Big know. chunks of crumbs and crisps. You know, she's 11 now. She needs to be able to do her homework somewhere where it's calm and peaceful. Under this tangle of toys lies Mikey and Lara's room. More bedlam than bedroom. Dear Lord, look at these lovely Far things. Far too many. Have you stood on the little creature? What? There's nowhere to stand, Kim. Oh, God. <laughs> look, nothing in the drawers. It's all over no, the floor. No, drawers are totally empty. Kim, we've got more bits of food. That's bacon. Crispy bacon. But this doll, you say, was modelled on me, you know. Because if you can do that, you say, you can see it's me, can't you? Mm, most definitely. No, particularly the slim waist. Ah, shut up, Aggie. There's no toy that you'd say, Bleh. I mean, they're, not, they're, they're all they're right, Ags. not being used, are they? Yeah. There's a perfectly good bed here that's not being used Where? either. And here's another bed that's not being used. Oh, so it's mad. The two but they can't sleep now in here, can I they? I don't think they are. And Ingrid's room is no better. Oh, there's a 
little, little mats yeah. on the floor there. So, so the kids are sleeping in here, aren't oh they? Oh, God, she hasn't got any yeah. kids, has she? Mm -hmm. And look at this, Kim, look at this. But you know, oh. Ag, no smell. It's not, it's not dirt, really. It's just mm. total flame yeah. and untidiness. Absolutely. Let's go and have a chat with Ingrid now. Let's go, Agsy. Now they've seen the job in hand, it's time for a plan of action. Well, Ingrid, it's quite a different picture upstairs, isn't it? It is. It's just the sheer volume of toys yes. and the mess and chaos and, and, you know, your room's just as bad as all the others. It's just spread itself. Yeah. It's like moving but in it, on me. But, and how are the kids reacting to you trying to G them up and get them going with the tidying? <sighs> they ignore me for the most mm -hmm. part. Nigel would say to them, this one's doing and this one's doing now and it would get done, but you don't want to upset them any more than they are already upset and you don't want to, well I don't want to be the nagging mum all the time and they, you know, we could be out doing things and having fun. The solution here is, isn't it, Agsy, get these kids involved as a team and then we've got a lovely home, you'll be happy, they'll be happy, we'll get the little yeah. blighters involved, won't we, Agsy? Yeah, and then get you can go out and enjoy yourself. Yes! Oh, yeah. The children are on their way home. They have no idea what awaits them. Hello, little one. Just come right here. Come here. Yes. Do you know why we're here? It helps yeah. you not out. You you to be in your room. room. Hello, child. Hello. 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 Nice to meet Where's you. Where's Mikey? He's, Mikey? he's hiding. He's playing. Oh, oh, good time. Time. What are you doing having a mucky bedroom? Well, Mikey got all my toys out <gasps> and turned them on the floor. Oh, he. No. Your brother did all this. Didn't you try and stop him, lovey? Well, I tried to stop him, me keep doing it. Who throws it on your floor, your big sister? <coughs> Time <laughs> there, blame me. You do. I like you admitting it, but yeah. it's going to cease. You know yeah. why? Because Aggie and I are here to sort you out. We are. Here we've got some t-shirts to help you on your way. Lolly, there you are. Yeah, it's a good girl. You nicknamed yeah. Lolly? Yeah. Your nickname. Charlotte, you're not Thank good. You and Ingrid, there's your one. Oh, like Mikey, it. can I not persuade you? I'm not sure. Now, you girls and boys, if it feels like it, Got to come up with a name for this cleaning team. Ah, what are you going to call your What team? are you going to call yourself? We, we are, are the Dust Bunnies! bunnies. Oh, the Dust, dust bunnies. bunnies! Good! Good, the Dust Bunnies! But these bunnies won't bust any dust just yet. Before cleaning begins, Aggie wants to see if the house harbours any horrors. You know, I'm not surprised that kids are bringing food up to the rooms and leaving it all over the place. The trouble is, when it's not cleaned up, it can lead to bacteria and moulds, which in turn can lead to allergies. So I'm going to send this to the lab to find out what we're dealing with. Time to get on top of the toys. As the cleaning team begins to declutter, Kim starts with the worst offenders. See who gets the most toys in the right boxes. Ready, steady, go! Oh, she's gonna beat you! Oh, my! Well done, my all! Oh, well done! Well done! No, no, no! Kids from about eighteen months to two years, depending on the kiddie. Yeah. You know, they will do it. What? And they certainly can give the colours of the boxes. You see in Excel, yes, aren't yes, you? Yes, yes, that's true. It's and it's a shoot. game for them. And if you go into the habit at a certain time every day, and they know it's coming, yeah. tidy up, dinner's on or lunch is on, once they've heard it a few times, no, you meant business. You know, if it works, jolly good, isn't it? Yeah. They'll find their beds every night, dear, won't they? They will. And it'll make it a lot easier for me. Bye, Joe. <laughs> Well done. Give us a cuddle. Well done. Oh, this cuddle. Oh. Besides the toys, it's the dirty washing that makes most of the mess. Aggie has a lesson on laundry for Eleanor and Charlotte. Right, we've got a whole heap of dirty washing here. Would we put it all in the machine at once? No. No. Why would that be then? Because if you had white socks, they'd turn out blue and pink and black and all that. Exactly. Which is why we've got whites, darks and lights. So we're going to separate them all out first, okay, before we wash them. Oh. Check the pockets. If you've got a pair of jeans or something like this where the colour on the outside is stronger, turn it inside out and that will help preserve the colour. 
do the zips up so that if you've got very delicate items in the same wash that they're not going to get damaged by the zips. Don't you turn things inside out to have like rubbery stuff on it or sequins? Yes! With the clothes under control and the bedrooms finally clutter free, the cleaning can commence. And Kim has found something to pout about. How did all this get on this door? This is a Mikey original. He took my most expensive lipstick and he decided he was going to do a little bit of Aboriginal art. And it was lovely, oh, yes. but I thought it had to come off. And I tried to get it off and it just smears. What did you try with? It was just a cloth and a spray. Just a damp cloth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are many things you can do it with, but I'm choosing today to do hairspray. It's sticky and it'll cling. Plus it's got alcohol in it, oh. which is a marvellous cleaner. Honestly, love it. Just watch it. And there's an awful lot on here. You're so lucky it's got a sheen on your wood. Don't put this on open, unvarnished wood. Please, you'll ruin it. Know what you can and can't do, darling. Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Now, I just take my bowl of warm water, wring a clean rag out. We'll just get that stickiness off it so that we're not going to be sticking our clothes all over it. But it has done because, by virtue of what it is, all veneered a doddle. Don't bring me an unfinished piece of wood and expect me to get off, because you're on your own. <laughs> okay. So, will it be top marks, or ten of the best when Kim and Aggie go to school? You spend hours in the mirror pumping yeah. your hair up, but you won't make you flaming bad. That'll take two minutes. And will Lara confess to making a mess? But I don't like baking butties. <laughs> Four months ago, Ingrid Doggett's husband died suddenly. Nigel's death um, has a direct bearing on the state of the house because it's, it's affected my state of mind. I need some help to get back on a, an even level with it. And if, when it's all tidy and clean, then I can start to move forward, perhaps. Since his death, Ingrid's home has become increasingly chaotic mainly at the hands of her four children. Sometimes, very, very rarely, I clean the bathroom. That's meant to be your weekly task. So? No, that's meant to be your weekly uh, task. Just thing. as my weekly task is cleaning the fridge. How is it? Which I actually uh, don't do most of the time. Ha, I see. So, Kim and Aggie have been called in to get this family working together as a team. What are you going to call yourself? We are the Dust Bunnies! Oh, the Dust Bunnies! Good! To find out more about the habits of 21st century children, the ladies have decided to ask Eleanor's schoolmates what they do to help at home. Kim, who honestly helps Mum and Dad a lot. So what about you with the pink hair bag? I have to lay the table and wash up the dishes. I clean my bedroom, I tidy up the front room. When I have to tidy my room and stuff, I try and get out as quickly as possible. Naughty but honest. <laughs> <laughs> you do nothing. Uh, yeah. It's the dreamland for me. You three guys here, yeah. with all this spoofed up hair. Do the dishes once a month, because I don't get pocket money. You spend hours in the mirror pumping yeah. your hair up, but you won't make you flaming bad. That'll take two minutes. What do you do in the house? We know you don't. No. Nothing. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should see how often Miss Cal cleans. <gasps> Ooh. About three times a week. So would you encourage the children to live as clean as they can? Absolutely. I think it's very important. Me too. Tidy house, tidy head. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Eleanor, are you going to do a bit more about the house now? Yes. Oh. I'm going to. Bad luck, Eleanor. A moment later and you'd have been saved by the bell. Don't be taking too yeah. much. Leave some flag yeah. and I. Back at home, the team's fast fighting the filth. One problem area is the glass doors, made grimy by Mikey's grubby hands. Honestly, dead easy, I'm going to show you. Now, I've got one and three quarter cups of just tap water, a quarter of a cup of rubbing alcohol. You can buy electrical stores, it's not hard to get. And to top it off with one teaspoon of white vinegar, and I have the magic potion. All right, my love? Okay. Right. This is paper towel. Having sawn it in half, I'm going to immerse it in this. Look. Hee <laughs> hee! Wow. Take this. I punched a hole in there. Yep. Put it through, darling. Gently, Bentley. Yep. I'm going to leave this overnight. You will see the one I've done beforehand. You see, you've got to get rid of a lot of the moisture. It's almost like wet wipes. So now up I come with it, lovey. 
I'm peeling this window vertically, up, down, up, down. You get on your side my and dear. you do it horizontal, my dear. You will see if the streak's horizontal or vertical. You know the one that hasn't cleaned it properly. I am going to start drying off. You get on your side uh, with a clean rag and let me see what mess you've left. <laughs> not that I'm down in the progress. <laughs> What's that there? Paint! It's not paint, it's you! It's paint! Get out of here, you're useless. I was you, let's go. I wasn't, couldn't it? It, was could, clean. it could not have been me. <laughs> you look no, clean I now. don't accept that. I never do anything wrong. We both did a marvellous job. There's about 18 more panes to clean. Ah. And you're it, kid. The results are back from the lab. Aggie believes that with science, you're never too young to start. Now, girlies, there was an awful lot of food stains on the stairs and in your rooms. That sound familiar to you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What about you, Lara? Do you ever take food upstairs? When I see Mikey in food upstairs, that's when I do it. Oh, I see. And who takes the bacon butties upstairs, Lara? But my, but I don't like bacon butties. Anyway, listen, look at this sandwich. Would you like to eat that today sometime? Mm. Yes. Okay, imagine if you take that upstairs to your room now and you drop bits off and you don't quite finish it. And in two weeks' time, this is the sort of thing that you end up with. It, it's mouldy. Mm, it is mouldy. Very not nice at all. You wouldn't want to be anywhere near it, would you? No. Now, there are two types of moulds that we found in your rooms. You only need to breathe in a few spores or get them on your skin to give you anything like asthma or hay fever or eczema on your skin. Nasty. Nasty. So, are you prepared to stop taking food upstairs? Yep. Yeah. And you'll stay healthy that way. Deal? Yeah. Yeah. Good. But not all bugs are bad, Aggie. Looks like Lara's been bitten by a cleaning one. But will she bear with it? What's this little guy's name? Um, Cookie Bear. Cookie Bear? Why, he is lovely. He's very dirty though, isn't he? Because he seeped out of my head and, I, and he had it in the mud. And, and my sister Shaw picked him up and he was looking so grubby. Oh, yes, isn't true? Yeah, I like his bow. Do you know I like this bow as well? That we're going to get some of the smell off him and some of the march. This soap smells so pretty. Oh! It smells a bit in the nephodils. Doesn't it just? Now watch. I'm going to try and be gentle because bless him and save him. See? Dee 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 dee! Shampoo! Look! He's <laughs> He's much lighter than he looks, isn't he? Do you want to have a go at the other top of his ear? Will you yeah. do it? Yeah, go on then. I know, I know the other, I know the other bits of We're going to be here all night, you know. Upstairs, the team is hard at work. Downstairs, even Ingrid has a lesson to learn. I took some swabs of the surfaces in the kitchen and actually things, although they look clean, they're not really as clean as they should be. In fact, I think maybe what you've been doing is wiping the surfaces with cloths or sponges that aren't clean and they're just spreading the germs and the germs are being allowed to grow. So here's what I want you to do every night. It's a good idea to put in the sink just a kettle full of boiling water, then a squeeze of washing up liquid and a capful of bleach, okay? And then the soap will clean the cloths and the bleach will disinfect them in the morning. They'll be clean and your sink will be clean too. And do I need to rinse the cloths out in the morning before I use them? Absolutely not. Just take them out of the sink, squeeze them out and you've got the soap and the bleach in there and they're gr it's great for wiping down your surfaces as it is. One last push and the house is ready. But the dust bunnies aren't off the hook just yet. Now the house is lovely and clean. Before we take you round, we've got something to show you. Oh yes, we've got a cleaning rotor for the dust bunnies. There's jobs to be done every day of the week, but on Sunday you can have the day oh, off. Yes. Now, do you think you can all do that? Yay! 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 Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Now, should we go and see the bedrooms? Yeah. Come on, man. Come on.
Ingrid used to share her room with Lara, Mikey, and a mountain of washing. Now it's clutter-free. She has her own special retreat for peace and quiet. One, two, three! Oh, blimey! It's, it's, I'm speechless. It's beautiful. It's huge. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. I want my... my photo. Oh, darling. Can you see them now, can't you, properly? All right, love. Of it's marvellous, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, darling. Thank you. It's going to be lovely for you, and it's so peaceful, isn't mm. it? You know, you've got a space back for yourself, and it's <laughs> exactly it's so important when you've got you know four of them running around all the time. You've got to have somewhere that you can come and just be peaceful, haven't you? I can't wait to go to bed. <laughs> I tell you what, we'll hear some snoring outside tonight. <laughs> Eleanor's room was once strewn with clothes, computer games, and a crisp coating of crumbs. Now is perfect for homework, as well as having friends to play. One, two, three, open. Oh my God, how do I love this rug? Oh. Oh. God, really, really good. My boot shop and I've seen it so tidy in my life. <laughs> you even found all my old bears. I yes. did that they were lost for like forever. And have you noticed something else, Ali? Oh. It smells nice, I think. Reminds me of frozen peas, and I love frozen peas. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going to be eating your food from now on? Downstairs. Is that without exception? Without exception. But you look awfully happy, don't you? I am. I bet you've got one of the nicest bedrooms in your class. Lara and Mikey had a room which resembled a rubbish tip. Now it's spacious and spotless. They can find their toys without having to stand on them first. Three, two, one, open your eyes, Lara. Wow! It's nice. You like it, Do Mikey? You like it, yeah. Who's that on your bed? Cookie bear. Cookie, Cookie bear. bear. And what's on your bed, what, Mikey? What's that? A rocket. Rocket? Yeah, you're quite right. Mikey's rocking, aren't you, Mikey? I think it's smashing. It's so bright and colourful and clean. Yes. How are you going to keep Mikey in order, though? That's my no. way. I'll keep an eye on him if he makes any mess. What will you do? I'll, I'll tell him to stop. Okay, good. We're going to leave you in charge of this room. Yeah. And you. <laughs> Ingrid, it's been such a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. We hope we've got you back on the road again. So Thank you. All right, we're all the best for the future. All the best. Yes. All the best, my love. Thank you, Mikey. Bye, darling. Bye, Ingrid. Bye, love. Bye. The future now is brighter because the kids are helping out and we're, we're a team and that's got to be good for us. Nigel would have been amazed. He'd be so proud to see the house looking so nice. And I can just see him saying to the children now, you lot better keep it this way, you know? He'd be amazed.